What if Newton stayed silent? Two geniuses, one discovery, and a rivalry that nearly tore science apart. What if Newton and Leibniz had never fought? In the 17th century, science faced a massive problem. How do you describe motion that never stops changing? Falling objects, planetary orbits, curving paths. Physics needed a new language. That language was calculus. Isaac Newton developed calculus in secret. He used it to solve gravity and motion, but he didn't publish. Meanwhile, Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz independently discovered calculus too, and this time, he shared it with the world. When Leibniz published first, a storm followed. Newton accused Leibniz of stealing. Leibniz denied everything. Both men claimed to be first, but there was no neutral judge. Newton was powerful. He led the Royal Society, and he used that power. A secret committee, run by Newton himself, declared Newton the winner. Leibniz was branded a thief. Europe split in two. British mathematicians refused to use Leibniz's calculus. European scientists ignored Newton's methods. Two notations, two communities, no collaboration. Progress slowed for decades. Here's the irony. Modern science uses Leibniz's notation, not Newton's. The clearer system survived. The war was pointless. Newton and Leibniz both changed the world, but their rivalry delayed progress for everyone. Science advances fastest when ideas are shared and credit is secondary. Sometimes the greatest enemy of discovery is ego. So here's the question. What if Newton and Einstein had worked together? Follow for more science stories.